Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, this is a map of SCP Containment Breach in any game from 2012. Um, and this will be the last video in my series that I'm making for the summer. So yeah, um, uh, before you say it, I am aware that every time you play Containment Breach, depending on the seed, uh, the layout changes each time you play, but... Uh, this is one seed that I decided to do. It's from a couple years ago, so some things have changed since the game gets updated uh, regularly, so yeah. Um, so yeah, there's a lot to cover, so let's see, where should we start? Uh, I guess we'll start here in the office since it's the closest to the beginning. Um, there are, this is not the very beginning, uh, there's still the D-class cells in 173's chamber, but we'll get to that shortly. So you leave the office, and usually when you go right, uh, there is the uh, closet where you get the level 1 key card, gas mask, and all that stuff. There's also some other stuff, but I haven't played the game in a while, so... Uh, yeah. And usually SCP-372's chamber is also uh, there next to it. Uh, you have the security gateway with the decontamination chamber. I also have the uh, lock room, I think that's what it's called, or it's gas room. I, don't, I forgot what it's called, but it, you just press a button and opens a door on the other side. Usually 173 spawns here. It to be storage chamber, okay. So there's three. There's 860, 1025, and 714. Uh, so you have, you have Tesla gates. Uh, containment room 5, SCP-500 and SCP-1499. So, hey, so yeah, you got intersections, four-way and three-way intersections. Here you have the elevator with the uh, corpse in it. I think his name is Jason or something. So yeah, you have the archive room with a bunch of documents for some of the SCPs. And you also have 914's chamber. Where you can level up your key card and some other stuff. Pretty useful uh, SCP. You also have 1162. So yeah. Um, these rooms right here. There are checkpoints leading to the heavy containment zone. This all right here is light containment. And it's always the same. No matter which which seed you have. Uh, if you, Unless you're playing a very old version of the game. Which they didn't do that. So yeah, light containment. Uh, if you go left, uh, let's see, small testing room where you can get a level two key card. Uh, lock room. So yeah, these are lock rooms. You have to press a button and quickly run in because if you uh, don't make it in time, you get trapped in there. So which is pretty stupid. Uh, before before that, you have stairs leading down to zero twelve's chamber. So yeah, again, we'll get to all of that uh, once we get to the other floors. You have SCP-970, where the uh, hallways uh, keep looping forever and ever. So some pretty freaky stuff uh, happens if you keep going. If you just keep going. Another security gateway and lock room. And here you have 1123's chamber. And these elevators right here, they lead down to the... Uh, storage area with SCP-939 and these stairs lead up to an office which has a switch to uh, turn off the lockdown in the heavy containment zone so you can go there and it's, it's gonna remain locked unless you uh, push that switch off if, if you don't if you want to progress so that's gonna be it for light containment um, here in heavy containment uh, some of these are dead ends they just lead to one room, so you have uh, 035, which has a really big room. Uh, stairs leading down to 895's chamber, the, only the control room is up here. And these stairs lead down to 079. And then there's a code here, yeah, this is a dead end. Even if you no-clip past it, there's nothing here, so... And the code doesn't exist, so... Which only leaves us to go down here. There's the Omega Warhead Silo, well, the uh, entrance to it. You need a level 5 for that. 
Tesla gates, intersections, hallways, uh, blast door. These elevators, I think, lead down to uh, it's either the maintenance tunnels or 049's chamber. Uh, so yeah, more more intersections. Uh, here's 513's chamber. And these elevators lead down to 049's, or, or the maintenance tunnels. I'm not entirely sure, kind of forgot. Um, but yeah, elevator machine room. There's a lot of useful stuff in there. Here's 966, a uh, pretty freaky SCP, because you can't see it unless you're wearing night vision goggles. Yeah, the small server room where 096 hangs out because he doesn't have an actual chamber. Although in later versions, he actually does get one. So, yeah. Let's go down here since this is a dead end. Uh, these stairs lead down to 682's chamber. Well, it's not confirmed because uh, you can't actually go to it. There's a bunch of blast doors and there's a document about 682 down there, but... I'm not entirely sure if that's his chamber. And then here's 106. So. Going down here. All that's really left is the uh, SCP-008, the zombie virus. Which has a similar room to uh, 035. And then there's only two checkpoint areas that lead to the entrance zone. One of them being a dead end. So yeah, entrance zone, uh, it's really offices, kind of the administration area of the facility, so yeah, offices, conference rooms, medical bay, and yeah, the end room, which is just dead end. So yeah, offices, uh, these stairs lead to the head office, which is where you can find some SCP-420J, uh, elevator lounge, uh, office, yeah. Conference room 9B and end room. So, uh, and these stairs lead up to the electrical center, which uh, which is how you uh, turn off the remote door control so you can go to 079's uh, and talk to him. So, yeah, once you do, do, do that, you can go to gate A. There is also gate B, but I don't have it on here because... I don't think it even came with the seeds, so. <laughs> yeah. Alright, whatever. Uh, so yeah, you, you go up the elevator and you go to gate A. And 106 distracts uh, the uh, soldiers. So you can escape by going down these stairs. And at the end of this hallway, you meet with the Chaos Insurgency guys. And they tell you that... You were coming with them, so. That's kind of the main floor, I consider it. There's the most rooms, and for some reason it's not focusing. Ah, whatever. Alright, time for the other floor. Okay, so here's the floor that's just above the one we were on. And I guess you can see that it's pretty weird. Um, okay, so. Yeah, the office that we were in at the very beginning. Uh, this is that area right above it. It's a two-story room, so you have stairs going up to it. Um, so yeah, um, right here, the Class D cell block is where you begin. You leave your room and make your way here to 173's chamber, which is the first SCP you're in introduced to. You have the control room right above it. And here's the uh, surveillance room where uh, this is how you shut off the uh, lockdown for a uh, heavy containment zone. Oh yeah, here's the head office where you can find some 420J. And here's the upper floor of one of the office spaces. And... Alright, the electrical center. Um, and that's how you can turn off the remote door control to talk to 079. And then later you have to like turn it on again so you can access the gate A, so... Yeah, this is where you actually walk. 106 keeps walking down here, and you kind of go off to the side. And there's also some guard towers here. So yeah, that's the upper floor. 
Okay, so here's the floor right beneath the uh, one that uh, we started off on. So, um, here's 079's uh, chamber with a uh, control room. And these stairs keep going down to 95, 895's chamber, which, yeah, is pretty deep down. Oh, and I forgot these areas. Uh, here in light containment, uh, you have... Yeah, this is the room where the two guards are and they get killed by 173 uh, after you get your level 1 key card. And here's 012's chamber. It's just the one room with the uh, control room, the uh, smaller one. Uh, so yeah, you have the control room for 106. And the actual chamber is still one one more floor down. Same with uh, 8682's uh, chamber. Uh, so here's the, for entrance zone, is the server hub. And just another kind of area in the entrance zone. Here's the cafeteria with SP294. And also 066 also usually hangs around this spot. And yeah, another kind of office really. So, yep, that's pretty much it for that. Last but not least, we have the uh, lower lower floor um, below the one that we were just on. Uh, all right, so let's start here. Uh, storage area six and storage area three C. This is where nine three nine hangs around. What? Well, there's uh, I think three of them. So, yeah, there's the two elevators. Uh, here's the actual eight nine five containment chamber. Um, you know what? Uh, here's the maintenance tunnels, which uh, yeah, I never finished. Uh, but you can find an SCP five hundred pill down here. Uh, here's the actual 682 uh, chamber as well. As you can see, you can't actually go beyond this blast door. Here's uh, 106's chamber, which I don't know why you would want to go down there. Here's the warhead room. You can see the actual warhead, and you also have the control room, so you can turn off the, uh, the warheads. Let's see, main, main tunnels, and oh! We still have 049's chamber, which is shaped like an S, which is pretty interesting. So, yeah. Uh, and that's it. So, yeah. Um, like I said, that's the uh, final video for this series. Although I will still make some more uh, some maps for other games. Um, so, be on the lookout for that. And I'll see you then. So, uh, bye for now, guys.